to go through with you online grocery shopping. With work, family, sports commitments, and operating our home-based business, we find it very difficult to get to the grocery store. But for me, planning uh, healthy meals for my family is one of my biggest priorities. So today I wanna go through with you what I do to get that process going and go through with some of the benefits with you. So by doing online grocery shopping, I save a ton of money because I only buy exactly what I need. So therefore, I'm reducing food waste at the same time. And we also save money by not going to the grocery store and picking up this and that that we think might look appealing to us, but that we might not actually need or might not be good for our bodies. So today I'm gonna to go through the first step and that is doing a weekly meal planner. So we all need to make a list of what we need for some staple items in our home. So things like breakfast. So typically if you're a working family, kids are going to school, you have your staple breakfast items. So that might be yogurt, that might be oatmeal, cold cereal, bagels, eggs, waffles, things like that. So that's the first step that I do is I make sure that I have those staple items in my home. The next one that I do is I look at lunches because we all pack a lunch to go to school or to go to work. And again, that saves us a ton of money by making sure that we have nutritious foods always available, available to us during the day. So I go through what the kids might want in their lunch and making sure that they have something from all four food groups um, as well as for my husband and I. Finally, I make a list of what we're going to have for our main meal for the week. So that might depend on what we have going on that week. There might be a sporting activity, there might be a meeting, there might be clients to see. So what I make that evening will depend on how much time I have to prepare or what I've prepared the night before. So you, doing this, I might look at some of my favorite cookbooks, great cookbooks by Dietitians of Canada, um, Joy of Cooking, I might go on Pinterest, um, lots of online resources. Um, so those are all great tools that you can use to come up with new recipes, to try new foods, or some of your standards that you typically make. So once I have um, kind of all of our different meals planned and I have a staple list, I then go on to, to my uh, click and collect and I go through my process of online grocery shopping. So with this, I feel much more organized. I'm saving time by not running to the grocery store. And at the end of the day, I feel like I have some great food in my house to feed my family. Another treat that I have recently discovered is some of the um, new food options we have to get foods delivered to your home. So these are things like HelloFresh, Chef's Plate, um, Miss Fresh is another one, Good Food and Cook It. And these are types of businesses that they, you pick a recipe online and then they send you in a box that's in cooler packs everything that you need to build that recipe at home. So it's a little bit more expensive but also a really convenient way to eat healthy meals and it's also a great way to get you to try new foods as well. So I hope you took something away from this podcast today and I hope to see you soon. Bye.